Starting off our video today, we are going over one of the most garbaged weapons in all of Fallout 76, the compound bow, and I did my absolute best to make this weapon overpowered. At the end of the video, we'll be going over the exact bow I'm using and my entire build, but first off, let me destroy these guys real quick with this amazing bow. Okay, I definitely was not in sneak, though I thought I was. Look at that, 1,442 absolutely insane this weapon acts basically as a sniper rifle but instead of a rifle you're using a bow but look at that damage and they don't even know you're here because guess what you get to utilize all your sneak perks how fantastic is that let me just uh take down this little doggy real quick hey little doggy you like explosive bullets to the face and just like that uh, the super mutant hound is no more and i'm pretty sure this guy is frozen okay now he's not look at that massive amount of damage now the only downfall of this weapon is it's extremely slow i mean if you could just load up 50,000 arrows all at once and shoot them just consistently that would be absolutely amazing though i don't think that's logical whatsoever look at that distance and that damage what about this guy there we go it says 95 how about it 1004 straight to the face the next wasteland monstrosity on our list to fill the wrath of the compound bow is the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name of billy bob we're just gonna start by blasting him in the face okay i don't know why i came out of that and then we're gonna continue to blast him in the face look at that 1300 straight to the face 1800 straight to the face and just like that billy bob is no more here today out in the wild i have for you the level 100 glowing death claw that goes by the name larry now we're just gonna lock into larry's belly real quick because that's where we're gonna get the most amount of damage oh my god he better back up okay this weapon is extremely slow now one more shot to his belly and larry is no more now for our next target on the list, we have an old friend of the show. We have the level 75 Scorched Beast that goes by the name Charlie. Now she's harassing everyone at the White Springs, so she's getting go. Now we're just gonna shoot her face off a couple times with these arrows, unless she lands for us. There we go. I love how it's just like auto-tracking to them, and I feel like there's a lot going on around me, and I'm still sneaked. Okay, now I'm not. Ooh, we'll just take care of that guy real quick. What is that? Is that cultist? Oh, thank God. I thought they were robots. And I better watch out for my health. Woo, excuse you, sir. Let me just uh, blast this dude's face off real quick and we'll commence with the killing of the charlie there she is and one more shot and she's down let me just blast off this guy's face real quick there we go nice and easy now i've made my way over to vault 51 to find the level 75 scorched overseer that goes by the name ben kenobi now we're just gonna lock onto kenobi's fusion core real quick there we go at 95 oh my god that didn't do any damage fantastic there we go there we go we're getting a little bit more damage to her. oh my god that freaked me out for just a second i was like what is going on there's no way we're gonna be able to beat kenobi like this we just lock onto the face hopefully i can get a shot off there we go holy crap i gotta be very careful because look how low my health is and well kenobi has a gatling laser so that's not very fun for me let me just take down these guys real quick you know for my safety all right kenobi i'm gonna need you to come on out and stop hiding you're trying to lure me in there it ain't gonna work look at kenobi he's angry he's just shooting up in the sky like a madman there we go okay now he's shooting at me <laughs> gotta be very very careful when using a bow and also being a bloody build in a situation like this now one more shot by this bow and kenobi will be no more and just like that kenobi could not withstand the power of the compound bow the next mutated freak on our list for the demonstrations is the level 100 myler queen that goes by the name mrs krabs and as you can see she's going completely nuts out there let me just blast her in the f oh god she hit me Alrighty, now you stupid myler queen you think you're all strong and big and bad and all this is because you can hit me with that poison and kill me like a stupid freak you are well now i'm gonna move around that way you cannot hit me with that no more and we're gonna continue the killing there we go look at that damage six eight 742 oh god we're hit again 900 but i don't care i'm committing to the fight and just like that the milder queen is no more over at the flooded train yard now we have a ton of disgusting disease glowing snallygasters as you can see we're getting attacked right now let me just take down this guy Woo! we gotta take down all these snallygasters that way people can come out here and scavenge and make this place safe again there's another one we'll just blow off his head there we go absolutely fantastic oh my god that scared the jesus out of me all right we're just gonna move okay excuse you sir you stupid fool Loki out there, we got ourselves another glowing snallygaster. One more shot to the face, and he's dead. Oh my god, he did a front flip. We gotta be very quiet for this one, you seem. All right, we're gonna blast him in the face. There we go, 852 straight to the snallygaster's face. And did you see that auto-locking on him? Oh my god, he could not get away. I'm gonna try to curve the bullet. There we go. 
And just like that, we curved the bullet on all the Snally Gasters. For our next target on the list, we are completely going for distance. And out there, we have the level 100 parasitic Grafton monster that just disappeared. Let me just get a little bit closer, okay? That's too far of a distance for us. Okay, I can't lock onto him with vets. Nah, maybe if I just shoot again. There we go. We just hit that stupid Grafton monster. This Grafton monster goes by the name Patricia. Hello, Patricia. We're just gonna get a little bit closer to you. There we go. 95 to Patricia's right arm. Oh, God, Patricia just threw something at me. Now if we just lock onto Patricia's blowholes, this is where we're gonna get the most amount of damage to the Grafton monsters. There we go. Just a one shot to Patricia's blowhole. Two shot. Okay, one more shot. Three shot. Okay, maybe four more shots. There we go. There we go. She's getting away. I don't know what's happening. And we have another snappy guest here. Let me just blow off this guy's head real quick for the safety of mankind. Do we have any more? What is over here? Oh, oh god, we have another one. Where's a settler at? Usually there's a settler over here. Is that settler alive? Did you kill my settler friend? Did you kill my settler friend? And just like that, Oh, the oh my god, there's another one. What in the French toast? Sir, you're gonna have to die. Excuse you. Excuse you. Oh, oh god. Oh god, I barely made it out of there. Oh no, I don't even know where the settler is. Oh god. Oh god, is that it? Oh no, that's not the settler. I don't know what happened. Uh, let, let's just get into this weapon itself on my entire build. Over in the weapon, uh, this is it. This is my three-star legendary compound bow that we're using for the video. And the main legendary effect is the bloody defect, which is damage increases as your health decreases, has a plus 50% to VATS hit chance, and it also has a plus one to perception. Now, bows are usually terrible through this game, but when you have a VATS bow like this and a critical build, these weapons can get absolutely insane. Over in the mods, what we used is the iron sights and the explosive arrows. Over in the normal perk cards, these are all the normal perk cards that make up my in-game archer build that we use for the the video starting off in strength we have three and this can have traveling pharmacy maxed out i personally do have a ton of kims on me so this card is necessary over in perception we have 15 and this can have concentrated fire maxed out vats target limbs focus fire to gain accuracy and damage per shot we have all the archer cards maxed out to get the maximum amount of damage out of this build we have bow before us your bows and crossbows ignore 36 percent armor and have a nine percent chance to stagger over in endurance we have six and this can have kim fiend at two stars any kims you take last 60 percent longer and we're taking overdrives and psycho buffs to get the max amount of damage we have fireproof max out take 45 percent to less damage from explosions and flame attacks we have radical maxed out the greater the rats the greater the strength at max plus five to strength over in charisma we have seven and this we can have lone wonder maxed out when adventuring alone take 20 percent to less damage and gain 30 percent ap region we have tenderizer maxed out make your target receive 10 percent more damage for 10 seconds after you attack over in intelligence we have eight and this we can have nerd rage maxed out while below 20 percent health gain 40 damage resist 20 percent of damage and 15 percent ap region we have demolition expert maxed out your explosives do plus 60 percent to damage over in agility we have 12 and this one can have action boy maxed out action points regenerate 45 percent faster we have covert operative maxed out your range sneak attack still 2.5 times the normal damage we have escape artist maxed out sneak to lose enemies and running no longer affects stealth we have adrenaline maxed out gaining plus 10 percent to max 60 percent damage for 30 seconds per kill duration refreshes with kills over in luck we have 15 and this one can have bloody mess maxed out 15 percent of bonus damage means enemies may explode and a glory red pace we have better criticals maxed out vets criticals now do plus 40 percent damage we have serendipity at two stars while below 30 percent health gain a 30 percent chance to avoid damage no power armor we have ricochet at two stars gain 12 percent chance to deflect back some of your enemies range damage no pvp we have four leaf clover maxed out each hit vats has an excellent chance to fill your critical meter and we have starch genes maxed out you'll never mutate from rats and rattle will never cure your mutations these are all the normal perk cards that make up my in-game archer build and now let's get into my legendary perk cards over in the legendary perk cards these are all the legendary perk cards that help make up my in-game bow and archer build starting off with intelligence we have that at two stars we have endurance maxed Maxed out, strength at one star, luck at two stars, follow through maxed out, and far flung fireworks at two stars. These are all the legendary perk cards. Now let's get into my mutations in my arm. Over in the mutations, these are all the mutations that we use for the build. We have adrenal reaction, bird bones, eagle eyes, egghead, healing factor, marsupial, skull skin, and speed demon. Over in the armor, what I used is a full set of unyielding gear, which is what I recommend you using also if you use the exact same build that I'm using. The reason being is because it says gain up to plus three to all stats except endurance when low health, and that is absolutely fantastic when you're a low health bloody build. If you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video over five unique weapons in Fallout 76. So if you want to check that out, I'll link it in the screen right now. You see that? That is my top five unique weapons in Fallout 76.